Let's talk about uh, Jack Grealish. £100 million. Um, the producer's on one. Just, just buzzed in my ear. Says, if I've got £100 million, I'm signing Foden, not Grealish, which is mind-blowing, really. But it's all about opinions. But Grealish, is he, are they undervaluing him at £100 million? He makes such a difference to a team, doesn't Can he? Can I ask you a question on that? Is, don't you think it might be a price his agents put in in, in, in signing a new contract? Yeah. Because he was really... Signed a new five-year contract. Do you think it would have been all right? But he wants to look after the club, but let's put this price on it so it's not getting ridiculous mm. because they end up in a situation when it's like Zaha where he can't get out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I think... Hundred million. I still think it's a lot of money. That hundred million. When you think Gareth Bale went for eighty nine, I know it was a few years ago, uh, but we weren't going through a, a serious health pandemic at, at mm. the time. So, is anybody going to pay? Let's be honest about this. Aid hundred million. They already thought last year eighty million were too much for him. You're right. A hundred million may be in the contract, and I think it's. I mean, with with the the COVID situation, you're right. There might be fewer clubs that would be prepared to pay it, but I think there will be clubs prepared to pay but, it. All right, then. But why won't they pay eighty million last year? They thought that was overpriced, and then suddenly he's got off to a great start this season. He was good last year as well, by the way. Yeah, but there's a big difference. And the well, big difference, England, yeah. Then. Well, that's it. I mean, another I think, twenty million. Yeah, but I think there were people who had doubts, and I think there's also been an improvement in his game. We spoke about this uh, earlier this season. There were elements of his game that needed to improve, and I think they have improved this season. I think he's become an even more complete player. And I think he would tell you he's improved as well. He's improving all the time. Mm. So I think any doubt... There's a lot of, there were a lot of doubters about Grealish. That's why Spurs didn't want to go above 25 million a couple of years ago. So And now he's kind of proving everybody wrong, and therefore I think there'll be more takers for but him. I do, but I'm going to produce that. This is a good point he's made, and I'm a massive fan of Grealish. But if you're a club and you have 100 million to spend, do you get Foden or do you get Grealish? If you need to improve your team now, who do you get? Yeah, well, obviously you get Grealish, but if you want to go for a player who could be around for another 12 years... Sure, that's a different uh, question you, you're asking. You go Foden, but that's what people might want to do. If they're thinking of spending 100 million... You could spend 100 million on Foden if he keeps improving like he has done over the last two years, and he's an England player already at a young age and scoring goals. You're thinking you might get 120, 130, 140 million for him down the line. Okay, let me ask you this, right? Um, I I think Foden's less likely to leave Man City, which is a different debate altogether. But he walks, literally walks into Manchester United's first team. But they even go to the top of the table. And you look at Spurs, and if they were to improve in January, remember that January when Harry thought he had a chance of winning the title at Spurs and they didn't make signings yeah. in January? I ain't going to make that mistake again, surely. So Bale isn't really making an impact in terms of the Premier League, even though they're top of the table. If they go for Jack Grealish, 100 million in January, well, Spurs... they could sell Winks. They could well, sell a few players there. Absolutely, they can, they can make any. the money. But look at that front three. Grealish, Son and Kane. And, and Bale off the bench. Lethal. I mean, it's lethal. So are, are we saying Bale off the bench now, always? What I'm saying, yeah, but Bale hasn't done enough to be in the first team yet, has he? He may, he may come good, he may get better, yeah. he may improve, but right now you wouldn't really say have him down as a definite starter. You've but got Grealish Moore as well, Lucas. Yeah. Oh, dear me. Um, so, so there's all sorts yeah. of players there, yeah. But Grealish, if that front three, Grealish, then all of a sudden you're looking at Tottenham as definite title contenders, whereas nobody is now. They're all thinking, well, that, yeah, they're doing well, but will it last? Grealish turns them into proper title contenders. I, I think he gets into any team in the Premier League. And, and what I mean by that is, in the summer, if you'd said Liverpool are going to sign Diogo Jota, would have all said... No, well, nobody would have said that. Nobody would have... Yeah, nobody said... As he, good as he yeah. was for Wolves, nobody would have said he was going to be playing for Liverpool and yeah. having the impact he's having. Correct. Straight away. No chance. Not so I it. think Grealish could actually do a Diogo Jota at a Liverpool... I think he gets into the first team at Chelsea, um, definitely gets in at Tottenham, definitely gets in at Manchester United. Man City probably wouldn't sign him. I, I don't know. I mean, they seem to be the ones that are linked with him. But I do think he gets into their team as well. Because, <laughs> I mean, they've, they've just got an abundance of riches. But Raheem Sterling, doing what he's doing across that front line, he can play in any position. And Jack Grealish can play in different positions as well. So, I mean, I just see him getting into any team. I think he's that good. Hundred million pounds improves your first team dramatically, whichever Premier League team you are. Well, it, of course, and, and and with Liverpool, everybody's always a little bit worried, but they've got two f- fantastic players there in Mane and Salah. 
Yes, they've got Jota now, who's come in and done a brilliant job and scored goals. But there's got to be, because those two are so good, there's got to be a concern. But one of the the Real Madrid or Barcelona or one of those clubs will come in for either Mane or Salah, or even both of them. You know what I mean? There's mm-hmm. two big clubs there, and they might be tempted. So they've always got to have someone in mind to replace them, and, and Grealish could be even on that wish list. Um, Tottenham fan has uh, texted us saying swap Deli Alley for Grealish. Um, I think there's going to be a cash adjustment there as well. What, yeah, what about Deli Alley and Harry Winks to Villa? Grealish to Tottenham? Yeah, listen, Villa get two two good players as two well England there, players. you know. I think that Villa fans would say not a chance. Villa, Villa fans will not want to get rid of Greece. They love him, man. Yeah, but they I've, love him. Even if so... you can name who you want, and you've just said there, Winks mm. and Deli Ali, which are two very good players who that could go to Villa, but they're going to lose Jack Grealish. Villa fans are not having that. Goffey, they don't want to lose him. Of course they don't. But no as way. you said on the show yesterday, this is somebody who is taking notice and taking notes and putting on social He's media. He's Champions League. Yeah, Champions League. Football. Of course he wants to play in it. And actually, if you are... A Villa fan with a heart, you'll admire what he's doing for Aston Villa right now, but you wouldn't stand in his way if you wanted to play Champions League football. And let's face it, it isn't likely to happen at Aston Villa in the near future.